So here we go. Here is my old router. And uh, it does 2 and 5 gigahertz. And uh, it just doesn't handle my 64 devices that are on it all the time. And then we have more devices as you turn on lights and all that. And I decided not to go with light switches. I went with every bulb smart in my house along with all the other stuff we have. And this, I picked it up for 10 bucks, brand new at Walmart clearance. And it does amazing. But uh, I like to replace my routers and have a backup one in case the next one gets struck by lightning or something. I can put this one in or diagnose if I have problems with my internet, my modem, or if it's a cable or something. It's nice to have two routers, especially if it's a cheap backup. But this thing just isn't doing it for me. I'm getting a lot of devices, and uh, I, want, I want something a little bit more advanced. So, and this only does like 150 megahertz, or gigahertz. No, 150, whatever it is. It doesn't do what internet I'm going to, but it did great. It did great for a year. <laughs> so we got this down here. I have not plugged it in yet. My light's still on. There we go. You guys can kind of see. So I unplugged my cord from my other router. I'm gonna plug it in first to the new one. There's my little cable. Just gonna show you guys plugging it right into the yellow and then I went ahead and plugged this into the wall and I'm going to plug it in right there gonna make you guys go up just a little bit higher oh you guys can see it right okay and my TV is only on so you guys don't see the reflection as much so you guys can watch it see how fast the power's on I'm going to go ahead and get my phone. Go ahead and download the Netgear Genie app. Now we're just doing a, a easy setup, basically with the settings it has. Uh, and then as soon as I shut off the recording, I'm going to customize it to how I want it with different passwords and all that. But uh, I really don't need to show you guys all that stuff. So I'm going to wait until that light maybe turns blue. Here's what's going on so far. We got the 2.5, two fives, and then on and on off. Just gonna sit there and wait a little bit longer for thinking the internet light may kick on. There's an internet light. So I'm out of shape. I'm breathing heavy. So let's wait just a little bit longer. Went ahead and got that sticker back out. That way I don't have to flip the unit upside down. starting to blink almost like it's putting out data so I'm gonna go over here oh now the power light is white and the internet wire is, or internet is orange and now it's white it's flickering I'm gonna flip that little switch on the back oh my WPS is ready to go looks like it's putting out the internet so you can actually shut off all the lights except the power light with that switch it's a bit delayed when you flip it. Listen to it when I flip it. So that's pretty cool. And uh, we're ready to set it up. So I'll tell you if any of them lights change colors, but let's go to the app. My phone is a bit too dark for you guys to see anything. I would just like screen share it or record it, but that never works out right. So my Netgear Hawk. Nighthawk app is right here. It's loading up. I'm actually going to unplug my other router so it doesn't sync up to that. It's probably going to be mad now because it just lost Wi Fi. Yeah. Um, login required. Let's go connect to that router first. Oh, it's trying to connect to a different device. Netgear 78. Is a device. It says its password is. I keep looking over because I don't want to mess this up like I just did. S H. God dang it. S H R U B 954. I'm going to shut off auto connect because it's going to change its password very soon. 
Okay, checking the quality of the internet. It should actually have internet. Connected without internet. Keep Wi-Fi connection. It's probably because they want me to totally set up. I'm actually just going to crash the app and reload it now that I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. There we go. Back into where we were. Password is the default for now. It's saying that that's the wrong password. See if it's still connecting to the right router. I'm going to click on manage router and just see where my phone takes me. Just tell me the terms. It's uh, saying, detecting if there's any existing router in your network, please wait. See it up there, but it's spinning. So we're gonna lower you down to the floor. I don't think there's anything special. You guys are still too far away from the action. Oh, here we go. It is so tiny to read that. It appears that you are installing the router behind your existing network provider. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. It wants me to use the network genie. Existing gateway. Yeah, that's how I have it set up. Genie detecting that you are using a gateway for your internet. So that's my modem. That's my router. Yes. Do you currently have advanced no, I don't have any of that. I can do all that later. I really don't want to have to set it up in here. For your router mode to operate correctly, you must connect all of your Wi-Fi and wire devices to the Netgear router, except equipment provided by your internet service provider, such as TV. So it wants me to unhook. Can you disconnect all your other devices from the existing gateway and connect them to... What? Can you disconnect all your other devices from the existing gateway and then connect them to the router? I'll just put... No. Why do I need to plug in my TV right now? Just get me internet going. To avoid Wi-Fi interference that may compromise Wi-Fi for more events, Netgear recommends that you disable your existing gateway's Wi-Fi. Sure. <laughs> sure, Netgear, sure. Just going to click next and say screw it. You must select yes or no. No, I don't want to disable all that. Your new right gear is about ready to set up an access point. You might experience a short. Just get the internet going. Your router, the router's rebooting. So you got that app for a nice setup. Yet, you don't even use it because it wants you to sign in and you can't. Why even have the app? I actually use the app to reboot the router instead of unplugging it all the time. So that can definitely help. It's just showing me a loading bar down here on my phone. Basically just restarted it.
So it's about 50% on my phone. And we still have a amber power and a non-existent internet and the WPS button is not quite lit up yet. About 75% now. Looks like all the lights are lit up up there. They're about 90%. And it looks like that's probably all that's going to go on on the router, so I'll bring you guys back down. Turn me line on. So this is what my phone looks like. Looks like it's all done, so let's go find the Netgear, connect to it, and I should have Wi-Fi. Checking the connection and internet quality. It says connected. And it's working because I don't have a SIM card in my phone at the moment. I just got this and a bunch of other devices. Um, I wouldn't have got that notification without it. So let's go ahead and load up the internet. I gotta make sure the internet don't have anything bad on it real quick. Uh, let's go to Twitch. There we go. It took us there. Let's go do a speed test real quick. See what the ping is straight out of the box. I did restart my modem. About an hour ago. 83 ping. And I pay for 10, but sometimes get 17. And since it's a Friday night, I'm going to get between 8 and 14, probably. My upload's normally at a 2. But I'm really hoping this router can manage on the different bands a little bit more. Instead of it all being on one band. Bandwidth. 16 ain't bad. Only pulling a point twenty up. I have to plug in my other router and just see what it is at the current moment, but it looks like we set it up. I'm going to use my computer now to just uh, organize it how I want it, update all the names. There's plenty of videos out for this and how awful I did on this video. I really don't feel like continuing to do a video on this. I tried. So hopefully that helps somebody out, especially the setup since, you know what, let's go. Wrong figure. Let's go see if the Nighthawk app has changed at all now that I'm actually connected to it with internet. Still wants me to sign in. I'm going to type in password, see what it does this time. Failed. I'm going to do forgot password. Wait, why does it want me to... Put forgot password and it's wanting me to sign in to my uh, Google. So there's a whole thing I gotta do, really. I don't wanna do all this. Maybe it's admin admin. Not Maybe even be on the bottom of the unit. Let me check it out. Admin, password, is password. So it's not going to let me sign into this one. Sadly, I have to sign into it to change all this. So, that's it.